a lot of people really like to take the AP class because they get to create a body of their own work. So most, most of the students have taken beginning photography and some people have shown me a portfolio of their work and they're in here because they really want to challenge themselves. A lot of students are really into photography before they come into the class. So some of them are able to get in. So they, they create a body of work, which is 12 um, photos. Sorry, 15 photos. It used to be 12, 12, 15 photos in a concentration. And I want to show you an example. They changed the portfolio last year. So they get to choose um, a, a body of work and this has to be 15 photos and they can choose anything that they want. So I wanted to show you an example of what it looked like last year. So they're going to put their photos into this form, which is on the AP board and then write a statement. So we'll look first at the statement. The reason why they have some of these that don't have artworks is because uh, we were doing distance learning. So I don't know if we're gonna do 10 or 15. I think it's 15 this year. This student decided to um, focus on how mankind and nature connect and interact. So here's some examples. I really like this. So you can kind of do any theme that they want and it's really fun, you know. So. And then they and then they have um, five works which which show the principles of design. So they could be part of the same portfolio. So it's pretty easy. They just need to go out and take photos. Um, so they're going to be take a lot of photos outdoors. So I'm going to show you where they're going to find their assignments. They can find it on Canvas. So you're going to see the class lessons right here. And then I have it based on modules. So. They'll come in here for the week and then they look and see what we're working on. Right now they're doing a famous photographer research assignment and then they're taking photos based on it. So when they, cl when they click on um, the link that has more info, it comes to my website. And if you click on it and you can't get in because it's a password, the password is camera. So they can go on here and they can see examples of what other students did last year. So they, they're doing um, research on a photographer and then they emulate the photos. They try to figure out how they took the photos, how did they do the lighting, the editing, like the blurred background. And so that's what they're working on right now. And then you can see other assignments when you go to AP photo, you can see all the other things they're gonna be doing. I don't have everything up yet. We watch a documentary. So you'll, you'll see a lot of assignments on here. And this is where you can look at more examples of student photos. So the student took photos with drones. One of my students does have a drone. And then she did emotional portraits with color. You can see they can do all kinds of things. It's very, very fun for them. And then also we're gonna be using some different applications. One is Padlet and it's free for the students. And they're gonna create a portfolio which they can share with each other. And then hopefully we're gonna share it with all the photo students in the whole school so that everybody can see each other's work and comment. I just put this up yesterday, so it's really easy. This, these are some photos that I took over time and um, it's kind of fun. So um, we're also gonna be doing critiques on here. So they'll be able to put their photos up and then everybody will be able to comment. So that's one of the things we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be using Lightroom and Photoshop and some students may not be able to download Photoshop based on their computer. So we're gonna use Photopea, which works really well as, and it's almost exactly like Photoshop. So they'll be able to see that in links, like in terms in the agenda. So if they look at the agenda, They'll be able to see, you can see links from, for Photopea. So if they don't have Photoshop, it's, they don't have to download it. And it, it's almost exactly like it. I see there's a few things that are different, but um, it's very important for them to be able to edit their work. We are thinking that maybe once we get Lightroom, we're gonna send it out to the students, the whole Adobe suite, then that might be able to work on Chromebooks and we're hoping it will. So there's, um, there's lots of things they can do with tutorials. So if they wanna learn more than, than I'm teaching, then it's really great. Another thing that's really important is the photographer list. Um, a lot of them started this last year, like learning about the different photographer styles. And I try to sort of keep this up to date so people can kind of choose their style and like 
relate to a body of work or a a different you know like style based on composition like Cortez or some people really like to do travel photography or street photography like Bresson so they can kind of choose what they want and it's it's kind of fun to get to know them and see what they're doing and then um, I think that's pretty much it if you have any questions you could always um, email me so canvas is a really good way to get a hold of me I also have office hours so they can always come on Tuesdays Wednesdays and Fridays to office hours the students are also going to be contacting me through their phones so um, there's a lot of different ways that we can get in touch and we are going to have a show hopefully later in the year if we're not coming back to campus we'll probably just do it virtually so we'll have a way for them to show their work I haven't figured out what that's going to be yet but um, once we get back into class it'll be fun I like to do get them involved in internships and we go out to different studios like light grid studios and field trips but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that this year and we have our studio here so a lot of people do portraits and night photography so um, that's really fun but we're going to do the best we can the students are very excited to be here already and um, they've already been taking amazing photos and they're just so positive. I'm just really happy to be able to work with them. So if you have any questions, just contact me. If you, they all have cameras. There, some of them are borrowing cameras from me and some have cameras from you. So we're gonna be doing some things where they learn about how to do the exposure, HDR and night photography and uh, a lot of fun things this year. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope we meet soon. <laughs>